calculation of a marine diesel engine. First of all we will see what is an engine. Engine is an equipment which converts the thermal energy of fuel into useful mechanical energy. There are some important terms to familiarize. Indicated power, this is the power, actually developed by the engine cylinder. Brake power, brake power is the power available at the crankshaft of the engine. Efficiency Mechanical efficiency is the ratio of power obtained at the crankshaft, that is brake power, to the indicated power, thermal efficiency, thermal efficiency is basically ratio between power output to the power supplied by fuel. Indicated thermal efficiency, this is the ratio of indicated power to the power supplied by the fuel, brake thermal efficiency, this is the ratio of brake power to the power supplied by the fuel. Now we will see how to calculate indicated power, suppose the gas in the cylinder expands at a constant pressure, P, we can see it on the graph also, just to remember that the units for work done is joule and the units for power is watt. In real case when the piston moves from T D C to B D C, pressure not remain constantly is shown here, area under the graph, shows the work done by the gas on the piston. When piston travels from BDC to TDC, it is compressing the charge air, here the piston is doing work on the charge air. It is showing that the actual work done, obtained per power stroke of the engine is given by the difference of the area of expansion and compression curve, so we need to draw this diagram in real situation, let's see how. There is a special indicator device to draw this diagram, a metal stylus draws a clear pressure path diagram, which records the pressure curve within the engine cylinder, the is shown in the diagram, this is called indicator card or power card. As the piston moves upwards, the marker connected through the parallel link motion will move up on the drum drawing a vertical line. The height of the line is proportional to the maximum pressure in the cylinder, that is P max. Spring constant is given by the manufacturer of the indicator device. Spring constant is the relationship between the pressure rise and the vertical distance. The drum of the indicator device is spring loaded and free to rotate forward and backward, due to pulling and releasing the cord attached to the cam, as the piston moves up and down in the liner. At the same time the marker in the indicator device also moving up and down due to gas pressure, this is the way of tracing the power card. Once we have the power card, the area must be measured, this can be done by using mid-ordinate rule or using an instrument called planimeter, once the outline of the power card is traced by the planimeter, the area can be read off in the scale, the length of the diagram also must be measured. If the total area of the diagram is divided by the length of the diagram, the average height of the diagram will be obtained. Now we can draw a rectangular diagram of the same area and length as in the original power card. Now the mean height can be converted into pressure by multiplying with spring constant, this is known as mean indicated pressure, so this represents the mean value of pressure during power stroke. When calculating the indicated power, first we need to calculate the work done, we already found the average pressure value, now we need to find the volume component, that is the swept volume, once we multiply the mean indicated pressure by swept volume, we will get the work done in the power stroke. Power, meaning of power is, the work done per unit time, if there is n times of power strokes per second. We need to multiply the work done per cylinder by, n, then we will get the mean indicated power developed by one cylinder unit, normally the engine rotational speed is given by resolutions per minute, we need to convert it to revolutions per second by dividing 60, in two stroke engines, the value of revolutions per seconds is equal to the number of power strokes, but in four stroke engines, we need to divide it by 120. 
because the power stroke comes in every two revolutions, likewise we need to find out the mean indicated power for all the units, to calculate the whole engine power development, nowadays engines use the pressure transducers to measure the pressure in the cylinder, and electronic softwares to calculate engine power.